Um, what was the worst job you guys ever had to do before you got into well, music? I had to learn. <laughs> yeah. I, I used to have to uh, make roof joists and I was on my knees all day and I just well, got shouted at. Make what? Like, like roof joists. Yeah, oh, like right. Then, yeah, just get a hammer and hit things all day. So. Le 11 hours of washing up in a care home. Uh, That's the last one yeah. I've done. Or, yeah, being a bitch on building sites is <laughs> not very. Mm. You know you've got all day making yeah. tea for everyone. Getting reviews, getting sent to the shops by glass nails. Yeah. I guess it must make. I mean, I know. Skirting ladders. I know. <laughs> Long way. The music life's <laughs> never, um, never a, a glamorous one, really. I mean, no. you know, people like yeah. to think fans like to think that it is, but you know that it's it's lots of sweaty venues and sweaty tour buses and all that type mm. of stuff. But I think when you've done the menial jobs to get before you, you know, before you make it be, yeah, bring you back yeah. down to earth. Yeah. yeah, definitely. You can come off a big tour, but then the next day you'll be stood in a kitchen <laughs> <laughs> serving people. It's a big contrast. But makes makes all the uh, band stuff like, worth a lot better. better you know, yeah, yeah. just with uh, this. Like, appreciate it. Well. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. What's your favourite tune to play live? New stuff. New stuff. Yeah, we're kind of we're writing new stuff at the moment, so. We got new song syndrome, so every song we write, we think it's the best song we got, and then we write another song, and that's the best song we got. That's good that you've got a load of new, new fantastic best yeah. songs. So, yeah. what um in the upcoming festival performances you've got? Um, are you gonna gonna mix up the new and the yeah. old, or are you gonna launch? Yeah, because yeah. yeah, we're gonna be recording. Um, come July, we're gonna try and get as much mileage out of our songs, new songs, live as we can, because you can practice songs for days and days, but um, sort of. Better test them out on the road. Really. Yeah, that's the proper. That's the proper school of writing, I suppose. Mm. Playing live, you get to know them. Right. Yeah, just about playing live affected the writing of the new stuff as well, just because we know what kind of makes an audience tick. So we can like mold the new songs around that a bit more. Yeah. So that's that's like the, yeah, the experience. The Fifty-eight <laughs> bar drop section. Where it's yeah. Little those hands. They've got a mini stone hinge coming down as well. <laughs> Oh, do it, God! Guildfest won't know what's what's hit it. Um, I know um, Blissfield have been, has been cancelled, yeah. um, but you've got Sue Thousand coming up, which we're going to be at, and that sounds oh, yeah, like really. a really good one. Yeah. I mean, you know, animals. I hope they let the animals out into the festival. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if they're just off to watch you because I think it'd be quite mm. good if you had some real tigers on stage, and and like with giraffes and meerkats. As well. And yeah. And like to transport the bands from stage to catering areas, you could sit on the back of an elephant or something. Or you could uh, you could sit in a car and a rhino would pull you along. Yeah, yeah. this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're in the <laughs> zoo. Cool. It's not cool if you give them earplugs. I reckon yeah, exactly. you know it's, there's got to be some rules <laughs> breaking. Um, any special pa plans for the punters at the festival performances? Are you gonna? I think you've just <laughs> spoken about them, really. Um, well, yeah, we're just gonna. Play some new songs, really. I think. Really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, I think they're going to be because we won't have played live for because we've been writing. We won't have played live for about a month by the time we do the festivals, or maybe more. So we're going to be quite excited about them. So gagging for it. Yeah. Yes. It should be. Yeah. It should be pretty mental. And what's your fan base like? Do you have any um any fans? Huge. Oh, <laughs> massive. No, obviously. Oh, but apart from that, do they follow you around and stuff? Are you, are you getting? Yeah, they do yeah, actually. Yeah. We had someone flying from Ireland to our show. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, we kind of um have people like on our on our tour. We saw the same faces at a couple of shows. Like, um, some people came to like Oxford, Bristol, London. They just. Yeah, yeah that's quite satisfying. People kind of follow us around, which is cool. Mm. Someone got our like, lyrics tattooed around her wrist as well. You wait till they start throwing things up on stage. Yeah. You know, they gave me, underwear they and gave stuff. me a present. They gave me a t-shirt. Just that they like, made the most. Oh, it's the beginning of the end. Then once the presents start <laughs> happening, God knows yeah. what you're going to get. Are you prepared for the potential? I, I know I've noticed in England. Um, the kind of obsession that some or the public can get around musicians and rock stars and all that type mm. of thing. Are you prepared for that possible <coughs> personal life kind of invasion? Yeah, well, uh, I definitely think kind of, um, although you get some instances where people are kind of played by um, celebrity yeah. Yeah. Um, and they don't want to be, I think most of the people that are, are in actual fact, desperate for the attention, and they just want to. And I, I think if you just make it clear that if you just act normally, 
if, if you don't do anything sensational, then magazines and stuff yeah. won't be interested in you. Nobody knows his dramas yeah. anyway, so I'll be awesome. fine. You're going to start involved. stumbling out of pubs with Amy Winehouse. Do you think no one knows dramas? They were always like drunk all the time. They'll come up to you and go, JB Oliver. I actually know. You've got Jamie Oliver and Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, what are you guys out to achieve? What, what's the plan? Make good music and see how far we go with it, really, I suppose. Give it a while. You just want to play, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we just want to keep. We want to keep. Well, we want it to be our. Yeah, the, we want to still be doing it in 20, 30 years' time. So. Yeah, the idea that we can do this um, constantly, indefinitely, is far more appealing than the idea of kind of. Flashing the pan, kind of Yeah. yeah. Um, than the idea of a mundane kind of day in day out job lifestyle. It's kind of living the dream as such. I think um, the type of music you play has longevity, so I think you know definitely, definitely on the right track. Um, what what's coming up for the rest of our wait? I know you've got some gigs coming up. You've got the, the two festival slots as well. And when when can we expect the new album? We're going to be yeah, like I said, we're going to be recording for most of July, and then we're going to be back on the road, I guess, by the autumn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we've got like, we have got another festival called the Offset like in late August, I think. So that that looks like a pretty good lineup actually. It's got like the young lives and I think yeah, I think by the end by the end of summer, September time we're gonna be back in full swing after we've like recorded everything, sorted everything out, but we're gonna do some new artwork and kinda of, we wanna do like new artwork with every different like recording we do so it's always fresh. And then so by September we're gonna go I think we're gonna do a tour in September and then yeah. Hopefully we'll be touring constantly because everyone's buying the record. It's, it's <laughs> Framing the artwork and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, the I've got a couple of questions based on your song titles. We'll do it really quickly. Um, Screamer, what makes you want to scream? Oh, yeah. Well, we actually called it Screamer because you've ever seen a film called... Yeah. Like the, the day after we wrote it, we were watching a film called The Alamo. And um, just before Billy Bob Thornton's character gets killed, he says, oh, I'm a Screamer. So we've called it Screamer. Just got it out of that. Um, the next question relates to, it's just questions that relate to the song title, so um, music to love you too. What comes first, relationships or the band? Wow. So, yeah. Deathly oh, silence. Really? Fred's the only one in a relationship. Yeah, 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 I suppose relationship. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. just in case she hears the interview. I can always start another band. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying because my brother has a photo of his guitar in his wallet where his <laughs> girlfriend should be. Really? And any girlfriend he's had gets really pissed off by it because <laughs> that's the place where the woman you love is. <laughs> it's always his interest. Yeah. I think, I think before you get into the relationship, you've got to make it clear that the band comes first, maybe. I don't know. I'll say that. <laughs> You'll always be second. <laughs> You'll always be second. That's what's so smart at this girlfriend. That's what she's more like. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh well, you, you're young guys, I think yeah, there's plenty exactly. of time yeah, to be thinking about high. that. Um, and we talked about Drover. Last question then, what's the most memorable gig you've ever been to as an audience member? Mm. Oh, I've seen News in Paris uh, with my mate. That was pretty intense. It was just cool. I'm going to see Bruce Springsteen in July in Barcelona. If that's not mm. memorable, then I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite expensive. Um, what the first gig I ever went to was The Offspring. That was two years ago. Well, well actually, no, but maybe um, Dillinger Escape Plan when I played at Reading and the guy did the crap on the big screen. Really? Yeah, yeah they chucked in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, the first band of the day on Saturday morning, and this guy just sort of went for a crap on stage and, just, and did it in his t shirt. <laughs> and then, yeah, did a dump in his t shirt and then kind of tied it up and threw it into the crowd. <clears throat> and the crowd threw it back, and he oh. just like, picked up again and threw it back to the crowd. My son on the t shirt become unraveled. <laughs> and they're just like. There's a, lot, there's a lot of bands playing this summer who we're going to see, which I think we're going to really enjoy. Rage Against the Machine yeah. and Bruce Springsteen, obviously, because we're going to go to quite a lot of festivals. We're going to see the police on the weekend, which will be cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Hopefully we'll have our most memorable gig this summer. <laughs> Excellent. Hopefully you'll make yeah. some most memorable gigs yeah. for some people exactly. out there, but don't Hopefully. do that. 
Please. Lovely to meet you guys. Real pleasure. Good luck with all your fests. And the elephants. Oh, yeah. See you on stage soon. See you at Z2000.